All right. We are in the Shadowhawk Gray Death. The Gray Death. Uh, let's see here. So yeah, I uh testing out some builds in this thing. Uh, I've been wanting this hero mech for a while. Finally got it. I've been running all sorts of builds with this, but the main thing you're going to see on this is the AC-10 because the uh, Great Death has an AC-10 cooldown. Among some other uh, quirks, but I've been focusing most of my quirks on the AC-10 and of course the energy weapons as well. So you might see a few different builds in this video. Um, but the main thing that's going to stay is, of course, the AC-10. If you're a Shadowhawk fan and you haven't tried the Grey Death or you uh, don't have it, I would recommend getting it. I'm kind of late on getting it, but I, f I finally did get it. So Now remember, this is a medium mech. Um, you kind of want to play the second line uh, support role. Uh, you're not a heavy. Remember, you're not a heavy mech. You are not in a roughneck. It's a little bit different. There's there's, there's <laughs> a little bit more armor between you and a heavy mech. I guess depending on which one, but... The Shadowhawk can deal a good amount of damage, and it can take some good damage too. But I also feel like... Definitely gotta be careful, especially because we also have a... Uh... Okay, what the f... Really? Well, I can't show this video. We also have a XL engine. So, with that XL engine, we got to be super careful. All right, so they are coming through the tunnels. Of course, they are. It's a Timby. Took a wolf in the tunnel. Got him. Mahler is down. Oh, shit. We're coming in. We're coming in for ya. He's down. Watch your backs. I'm gonna go back up this annihilator here. Javelin is down. Ah, oh, crap. They're coming in behind us. Alright, watch him. Watch him, watch him, watch him, watch him, watch him. Dire Wolf is almost down. Temple Wolf down? Better be. Ah! It's no good. We're gonna retreat into here because this is getting kind of rough.
Oh, I go down. That was fun. Yeah, that was fun while it lasted. I can't see anything. I think we're winning. We are winning. Evan Jack. I rushed in too quick. That was my problem. I should have stayed back. The assassin was pretty healthy too. Is he still alive? Uh, I think it might be him. Boeing Delicious. Maybe. Maybe not. Ginger Swirl, thanks for the com uh, comment, man. I love my vids. Thank you, Ginger Swirl. Are you really a ginger? Is that why that's your name? Anyways, good match, good match. Um, unfortunately, I died. Three kills, eight assists, two solos, three KMDD, 624. Um, man, that was a lot of fun. I did make the mistake, and I charged in way too, way too early on that one. Um, we did pretty damn good, though. Uh, the Assassin. It was Boing Delicious, of course. Uh, Ginger, you were piloting the Highlander 2C. Ah, that's a good mech. Anyways, let's... uh. Let's get into this thing here. Well, welcome to Mech Warrior Online. This is Fuzzy Nova, and today we have the Shadowhawk Gray Death. I've been wanting to get this mech for some time because I really, really like the Shadowhawk. I think everyone likes the Shadowhawk. It's a great industry medium mech, and it might be one of the coolest medium designs ever, if not the coolest design. The aesthetic of the Shadowhawk and just the simplicity of the build is just perfection. I mean, I think everyone wants one of these. You know, if you could actually have a real mech, I'm pretty sure everyone would at least want one Shadowhawk. And then a, a infantry, well, not an infantry, but maybe, maybe a, a small unit of hunchbacks. And then maybe, um, I know I would definitely want a Highlander and a Cyclops, for sure. And maybe a let's just do uh, let's just do uh, units full of shadowhawks and hunchbacks and some roughnecks and Jaeger mechs. Okay, so yeah, Jaeger mechs, shadowhawks, hunchbacks, roughnecks. There's so many other great mechs. It's just that's what I want in our unit. Nothing but those. No, I, hell, I've seen some units play nothing but one kind of mech. I think there was, there actually was a hunchback unit, and they used nothing but hunchbacks. And I've seen that, I've seen the same thing with, uh, I think it was Mad Dogs and like Timberwolves. Anyways, the Gray Death. I changed the paint scheme a little bit, but I did keep the gray to to carry the theme. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is. Uh, a great medium mech and uh, I'm glad I got it so here there's a few things um, throughout this video you're gonna see different builds but the build I'm gonna show you right now is the one I'm gonna use next in the next match um, so yeah my builds gonna change a little bit here and there but basically one thing's gonna stay the same and that's gonna be my ballistic weapon so yeah let's take another good look at this baby here I did a pretty good job on this on this uh, the decals and stuff and uh, yeah, the green really comes out nice, and they did a good job with the paint job. And this is another uh, good mech, great, great mech. Now another thing is, remember you are in a medium mech. Shadowhawks can play certain roles. They can brawl a little bit. They can. You can get your hands dirty in these mechs, but remember, support your heavies, support your assaults, be that second line support. And if you can, get in there and, and take some others out. You know, um, but be a support mech because uh, the Shadowhawk is a medium. It's not a heavy. It doesn't have as much firepower as heavy mechs. Um, and the, the the Great Death is 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 a good good uh, variant. I like it a lot because I like Shadowhawks a lot. But you get it. Uh, I think I named it uh, yeah 74th Brigade. So 
So I got, I'm supporting the 74th Brigade there. They are a specialized urban combat unit from the planet Vega. All right, um, let's take a look at the build. The Grey Death has one ballistic, four energy, and two missile hard points. So most Shadowhawks have a ballistic in that left torso. That's why a lot of pilots like it because it's a great spot for that weapon. Now the Grey Death has an AC-10 cooldown. That's its main quirk. So of course we're going to use an AC-10. Um, this has an XL-275 in it. We're going to keep that in. It's a light engine, but we just got to be a little bit careful. Um, yeah, watch your torsos there. So we do have an AC-10 uh, for our ballistic weapon. And I'll talk about the cooldown here in a second. It's a really quick cooldown. We do have four energy hard points as well. So I'm just going to go with four medium lasers. Now you can go ER or medium pulse. In this video, I might switch them up or I might mix them. I've been mixing medium lasers and medium pulse lasers. And I know that the range is different on those. But they pair well together at close range. And it's more damage. Um, but just be careful with that. So yeah, four medium lasers, and a lot of the times what you're going to see is four medium lasers and an AC-10, and that's it. Uh, four medium lasers, AC-10, jump jets, and the rest in ammo and heat sinks and armor points. Um, it's a good build, um, especially if you have that cooldown. If you don't have the cooldown, um, I would suggest throwing on some missile weapons, but we're going to do missiles anyways. So AC-10, four medium lasers, and an SRM-6. I do have another missile hard point in my head, and I was using uh, two SRM4s or just one SRM4 in the head hard point. Um, that was when I was using more ammo, I believe. Anyways, so that those are our weapons there. We do have a nice 42 point alpha strike. Um, the XL engine is 81 kph. I have three sets of jump jets. I think the max you can do is four, maybe five. I think it's four. Um, three is usually around the amount that you want. I notice that if you use just two sets of jump jets, it's not that great of a lift. Um, unless you really don't care about that. If you don't care about jump jets, take them off. It's going to be some extra tonnage for you. We are working with double heat sinks and endo steel. Um, on some of these builds, I'm using light ferro, and then on some of them, I'm just using standard because I couldn't fit it. Other than that, we do have uh, three double heat sinks. One in the engine and then two in the right torso. Our heat management is 1.31 out of two, so pretty good heat management. I got two and a half tons of AC-10 ammo and one ton of the SRM ammo for that SRM-6. We do have some ammo capacity uh, quirks, but the AC-10 quirk is really the big one here. So uh, I got a bunch of quirks on here. So yes, we have our Intersphere AC-10 cooldown minus 10%. That's, a, that's what the mech actually comes with. I also have a regular cooldown of minus 7.5%. Along with the uh, ballistic or the AC 10 cooldown, we have a ballistic velocity, uh, which is plus 10%. I have another ballistic cooldown of minus 10%. And I have another velocity of almost 10%. So you've got AC 10 cooldown, your regular cooldown, your ballistic cooldown. It's a lot of cooldowns going on here. So this AC-10 is going to fire rather fast. And then you add on some velocity, it makes it go even faster. Those are some good quirks you want to focus on. Ballistic velocity plus another 10% velocity. I do have some structure quirks too. I got about 10% structure. I do have a minus 15% laser duration for those medium lasers. I do have um, as well 8% range, a seven, uh, almost 8% armor bonus, and some st other structure quirks. Those are really the main ones I focused on. Um, that ballistic cooldown and adding extra cooldowns is, is just really good. So if we take a look at the AC-10, the cooldown is 2.25 seconds and I have 0.619 taken off of that. Um, and that's actually a lot. My optimal range is 486 meters with these AC-10s, so almost 500 meters and my max is 972 meters. My optimal for my medium lasers is about 291, but um, which is the same thing for the SRM-6. So uh, always, you'll always see me do this, especially if I'm using SRMs and medium lasers. I like to pair them together because they have a very similar range. 
But yeah, uh, armor points in this thing. I've actually got quite a little bit of extra armor in here. 72 in the CT, 50 in the torsos, 38 in the arms, and 47 in the legs. My legs are kind of skimped. I'm missing about 8 points in there. But honestly, I think I've been legged once since I got this. And uh, it's not that bad. But yeah, that is that is the build. This is the build for the next match. So You will definitely see me do some other builds too if I haven't already done one. Um, or you might switch it up. We'll see. But it's such a good looking mech. And everyone loves this freaking ballistic hard point. Everyone loves that. And the ones in the, and if you take a look at the arms, they are kind of low, so you do have to kind of peek out a little bit. But your missile hard point, right there in that right torso, and your ballistic hard point are up high enough. So when you're uh, peeking over little hills or around corners or over obstacles, those are going to be your weapons. Um, mainly your ballistic, because it has a good range. When you get out in the open and when you have a shot, blast them with those medium lasers. Um, everything has a pretty nice cooldown and a very quick duration, so... Um, it's going to be a nice second line build. Very, very nice. Very nice. Hope everyone's having a great night. Let's go ahead and get to a match. I'll see you guys on the battlefield. Shadowhawk, Great Death. AC-10, 4 mediums, and SRM-6. The most common build for the Shadowhawk is AC-10 and 4 medium lasers. So this is a pretty standard build here, but it works really well. Uh, the Great Death does have an AC-10 cooldown. Um... If you didn't know, so add on my cooldowns and my quirks. It, it it makes a pretty a pretty good weapon to use. Domination on polar islands. But yeah, I've been wanting to get this. So yep, we got it. I got another hero mech too. Actually, I got a couple that I have never done. It is pretty slow. I'm also testing out my new mouse. It is a Corsair M65 Pro, I think? It's a pretty nice mouse. It's, um, I mean, don't get me wrong. I like the mouse that I've been using, but this one is insane. Damn it! Come on. Watch out, little flea. Things are gonna get hairy here. Ow, Huntsman. Jerk. Alright. So you want to play the second line role, you know, really, you can get your hands dirty, but you just uh, support your heavies. You are in a Shadowhawk, remember that. And I have an XL engine, so that makes it all the better. I was thinking about maybe running a light, but... Ah, crap. Yep, see, I shouldn't be the first to do that, so... Ah, those energy hard points are very low in the arms there. But my missile hard points are rather high. That Centurion needs to go. Where's he at? 
Damn it. They're gonna come up from behind. Centurion, come on, little. No! Oh no. Crap. Is that Centurion still alive? Yes. Dude, he can spread damage like a pro, man. Oh, it's a crab, too. Don't kill me, Piranha. Come on, not me. Why me? Ah! Holy crap. Wow. I got him. I thought he had me. I have that 26% health. Whoa. Two kills, 10 assists, one solo, two KMDD, 686. That's pretty good. That was crazy, though. Yeah. That was an insane match. Um, I thought they took more of us out. I guess I was just in there. I got too close. I got too deep into the uh, the brawl in there. But yeah, really, really good there. Pretty good build too. Shadow Hawk. Shadow Hawk. Shadow Hawk. Shadow Hawk. Great death, everyone. See, I've been messing around a lot with, uh... Oh, it's another Shadowhawk. It's the 2D2, which is a good variant. I've been messing around a lot with, uh... I got a new headset and, um... A new mouse and some new equipment. And, uh... Honestly, <clears throat> the headset's great. Now I have, like two really nice headsets and I got another headset and I got two really nice gaming mouses and but the main mic that I use is not a headset it's a okay dude I <laughs> I hate that um, it's a desktop mic so uh, it just it just sounds better and then sometimes in matches I switch it up you can always tell when I'm on a, a headset mic it sounds a little bit different not as much depth. How the? How did I miss that? I think it's getting really late. That's what it is. Alright, here they come. I might need to move, actually. Kodiak's back is turned. Wow. 
Marauder is down. He went down hard too. Turn back. Kodiak. Watch this. Alright, Kodiak is down. I realized that my SRMs weren't shooting on the right weapon group, so that kind of sucked. Do not stand behind me, please. Really? Oh no. Dang it, man. Dang it. Come on, really? Pull out of there. Come on, guys, you got this. What do I got left? I didn't get that. Are you serious? Got him. That fleet is down. Ah, oh, there's another one. Who is that? Where's he at? I'm out of ammo. No. Oh man. Wow. Wow. This is a very close match. Those damn lights, man. Like really, they're killing me here. What, how much structure does this cicada have? What do we got here? One left and it's... What is that? Good job, jeez. Take him out. Freaking lights. Nothing worse than a whole lands of lights left over. And Well, I guess the cicada's a medium, but... Dang it. I was really, really hoping to uh, get out of that one alive. Oh well, that's all right. The uh, Andros guy took all the kills in his pirate's band. That's what they do. That's what they do. They take all the kills. 692 damage. We got um, two KMDDs, 11 assists, uh, one killing blow. So uh, yeah, we got that that little flea. I think it was flea or a locust. I think it was a flea though. We got him at the last second with those lasers. Good match, though. Thanks for watching.